Hey YouTubers, it's me, Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. So this is about the tenth time I've tried to make this video. <laughs> I've been at it for now almost an hour, so however this works, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to attempt, I'm going to look at the clock and try to keep it under 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I am just so tickled. I have to tell you what happened. The Bill 990 that the New Scale was trying to get, that did get through the Senate at the Oregon Legislature, which overrode Oregon law that said no nuclear power unless you have a solution for the nuke waste. It would eliminate the requirement to have a solution for the nuke waste, and it allowed local governments, a city or a county, to vote to have a nuclear power plant instead of asking everybody in the state, which is against the state law. Right now, if they find a solution to the nuclear waste, and then we have a total referendum in the whole, sit in the whole uh, state, then we could have a nuclear power plant. So this Bill 990 got through the Senate because they, New Scale convinced them that it was like sleek and new and clean and you should read the bill. It was like really ridiculous. So uh, Nancy Newell called me up yesterday. If anybody had watched, listened to my radio show with uh, Sheila Parks yesterday, the phone was ringing off the hook and I was like, who is that? <laughs> stop calling me. Uh, but she didn't stop. We ended the show. I called them back and I'm like, who is this? She's like, it's me. Guess what? They're trying to get this bill passed through the house. They're having a public meeting. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going. I called Finnegan. I called Blanche and asked Blanche to please make a video for his subscribers so people would know about this. They're trying to sneak these fucking things right out from under our noses. So, uh, I called Michael Kerrigan from Calc Community Alliance of Lane County because I know he's an ally of the anti-nuke movement. And he had already made arrangements with Chuck Johnson. Him and Chuck Johnson go way back, I guess. And so uh, they were going to go up there already. Uh, when I got there, I saw Mark Rabinowitz, another longtime anti-nuke that I know. Um, and I met. I was delighted. The room was packed, folks. It was up on, it was today from 3 to 4.45. I was in school till 10 to 2, so I drove there. I got there about 25 minutes late because it's an hour and a half So uh, to get there. So uh, when I got in, the room, the door was closed. The room was packed. There was only a few seats left in the back. It was really great to see a room packed full of people. So uh, when I got up there, I'm just going to take you through this because I want to show you the pictures. I did take pictures and I took some videos, but um, when I got there, shortly after I arrived, these people were speaking. This is Catherine Higley and Reyes and I don't know that other guy's name, but I think he's a finance guy. He was telling us how cheap they are, how good they are, and how they're just going to this is the way the world is going to be. And this is this this was came okay, this photo was taken long afterwards. This is their face of defeat when they're sitting there going, Oh, we're super screwed because they could see in the faces of the panel that it wasn't good. They were not going to approve this bill. They were not it was not going to go anywhere. But I want to show you this because when I got there, Kevin Finnegan had uh, already arrived. He took off work early to go. And you know what? He gave great testimony. I mean, hang on. I'm looking for the photos. There's one. There's a couple of photos of Kevin Finnegan that were actually really great. But I, hold on. Because I want to catch him. Oh, I think I had to take a screenshot of it because I had some videos. Here, this is it. And I'm not going to delete this. I'm not going to fuck around with this. So here, this is Mr. Finnegan. I'll, I'll blow it up for you. He's like right there with his little dreadlocks. Turns out he got here among the first people there, so he got a really good seat and he was up in the front. See the sort of red-headed kid in the front? That's Kevin Finnegan. You guys probably know Kevin Finnegan, right? And you can see what time it was. That was when I was finally getting settled. It was like 20 to 4. So he hadn't even seen me then. I took a picture of him, and then I had to text him to tell him that. And uh, then I heard Mr. Lloyd Marbet, who I introduced myself to afterwards. 
and many of you know him. He's a great advocate, great anti-nuke activist, has written many papers, advocates with the Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility. They are what we call establishment anti-nukers. I guess they're actually called second wave anti-nukers. We're actually considered third wave anti-nukers. Did you know that? Or environmentalists. These guys are second wave and we're third wave. Because us third wavers, man, we don't go the regular way. <laughs> Can you tell I got blue nails? <laughs> <laughs> and then I met this one. Lloyd Mar Bettman said I should meet this guy. He also was there. These guys, you guys should go and listen to this testimony. There were so many people. They listened to everybody, the pro-nukers and anti-nukers. The only pro-nukers there were was these three monsters and then uh, two farmers who probably are going to make a fucking shitload of money putting these SMRs on their buildings. They, of course they want the SMRs on their, on their property. They probably have worthless land because they can't grow anything because it's all dead from Fukushima and Hanford. So yeah, we'll, we'll put more there. Uh, but I don't know. That's a conjecture. Sorry about that. <laughs> and her students. So that's who was there. And the, uh, anti-nukers, the pro-lifers, that's what I call us. We're the real pro-lifers. Um, there were more of us than there were of them. So there was a, a me and Finnegan and two other people. We were the last panel of four, and then there was three other people. And to be honest, everything that you could want to say about nuclear, everybody brought up, even Kevin Finnegan. Baby Wolf stood up and said, you know what, the nuclear, you are genociders, you're murderers, and... It's a crime against humanity what's going on here. And he looked so sad when he was saying it. I think that his, he, he actually got to some of the, I saw the guys up there and you guys can see it for yourself. Look at it because the, the, the um, city council meetings are all on tape. And I did not videotape it because I didn't want to be in a room just videotaping everybody, but I did actually have my video camera on and what I did was because I didn't want to get busted I didn't want to get kicked out of the room and because I came in late I couldn't ask anybody because I was just sort of being quiet uh, so I made like videos like this they're six minutes long turns out all the people on this side of the thing see I'm going to upload them anyways it's it's basically I just there's nothing to show, but I was I was uh, videotaping on this one. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear that. These are pro nukers, and this is the meeting, and you can see the people I'm sitting in front of. They're all anti nukers. So, anyways, I didn't put it on because the lady told me that it's all on videotape and it's all available. I just wanted to share the news that we stopped a bill here. We, I mean, it wasn't just us. It, it was us. I mean, there was a lot of people in that room. People who had been doing this for a long time. You could tell, like, had been paying attention to the nuclear stuff for a long time. And you know what? I, I, it kind of hit me driving home. I, I believe until we can get the nuclear industry to actually change its culture... Because as my political science teacher says, he's not a teacher, he's a professor, um, culture eats policy for lunch. That comes right out of the uh, don't throw rocks on the Goog at the Google bus. <laughs> Talks about the digital currency. But um, We, ha we are going to have to be vigilant. It's going to be a long term. Our children are going to have to be trained on how to, uh, unless we can get the nuclear industry and perhaps they'll come along. I mean, I think what we need is a change in culture so that we have scientists figuring out what to do with all the waste and all the chemicals and all the horrible harm that we've created on this planet. Um, I think we have the mind power, the love, the creativity, I think we have the ability, there's scientific minds that can actually like, bing, a light comes on and then everything's changed. I mean, for goodness sakes, look what's all around us. Everything is completely different. And there's no going back. But because there's no going back doesn't mean we have to keep making nuclear power plants.
or nuclear fuel or nuclear weapons. Bush is Bush. Trump's thing is what? 73, 78% nuclear weapons. So that means you guys need to lean in uh, at, uh, at your elected officials and say, uh-uh. Mm -mm. I know we need to upgrade, but we do not need we do not need some of these things that are going to just really put the final coffin in everybody's grave. I'm not into annihilating the planet. So we can make a difference. And today proved it. It was a room full of people spontaneously just, boom, show up. They did not expect it. And when I first arrived, it was hilarious because Kathleen Higley, they gave their sweet little thing, and they all of these nuclear, the pro-nuclear people, they all acted like they, it was perfectly safe, perfectly everything. And then, boom, witness after witness who has been following this gave one more tidbit of one more tidbit. And you know what I said? I talked about this article, and now I'm going to make it, the one that I read on my channel about uh, the IAEA has never tested its safety culture. And this is a safety culture used around the world. And this is why we have nuclear problems everywhere, because they haven't even tested it. So I'm going to send that piece of legislation to the chairman and ask him to please put it into the records so that the uh, new scale... Uh, will have to contend with real science. I mean, real, real science. Really did have a victory today. This was a good day today in Oregon. People don't even know what a good day this was. The room was packed. The testimony was great. Please go to www.oregonlegislature.org or .gov, G-O-V, Oregon, www.oregon legislature.gov. If you don't put the www, you don't get there. So you have to put that. Okay, so this is it. Um, we had a victory, man. So, ciao.